In ServiceNow, you now have the possibility to interact with your customers via TeamViewer directly out of the ServiceNow console. This is available for any TeamViewer Premium or corporate license. To do this, the supporter expands the TeamViewer remote control options below the incident information. He then clicks on Create Service Case. A separate window then pops up. Before he can start the support session, the supporter has to connect ServiceNow with his TeamViewer account and grant a few permissions. These operations only have to be performed once. The connection with TeamViewer is now established and the integration is ready to use. The supporter can now send the published link to the customer. He then simply clicks on Start Session to initiate the remote control session. The full version of TeamViewer will start. The supporter now waits until the caller joins the session. Here's a quick look at what happens on the caller's side. The caller receives the link via email from the supporter. After the link is clicked, a remote control session will start directly. The custom quick support module now opens and the remote control request of your supporter appears. Finally, the caller has to confirm the request. After this, the connection is established and the supporter can resolve the issue. After the issue is resolved, the supporter can close the service case. In the TeamViewer Management Console, you can assign a custom quick support module to your ServiceNow supporters. This will ensure that the callers who receive support download your custom quick support module via a link sent to them from your supporters. To do this, simply open the group options and select the desired custom quick support module. And don't forget to save your changes. Additionally, with the connection report, you can also create billings through different charge rates which you can set up within the company administration.